I'm Ashley, and I have the CD wing of the school, and that consists of the auxiliary gym and the cafeteria. And once we prioritized, we came up with these issues that we would like to change. Um, more space for the lunch lines. They get really crowded, and they can be a safety hazard. Um, longer time for eating. Kids could pay for lunch quicker. The cooks could have more time to prepare for the next lunch. They could improve the safety for the cooks and students, like with the hot pans. Another issue would be the bathrooms. There's an insignificant amount of soap dispensers. There's a dirty floor, unappealing toilet seats. The locks really don't work, and also the they're smelly. <laughs> and you would have more self-security if you knew that your door was going to lock so you didn't have to sit there and hold it. Um, more people would clean their hands if our soap dispensers worked and everything, so there would be less illness and more appealing to use the bathroom. Also, the ceiling tiles were a problem. They're unappealing, they drip on students, and they may have mold, and as you can see, they're just not good looking. And if we had cleaner, it would make our school look cleaner overall. The students wouldn't have to worry about being dripped on, and there would be more school spirit and appreciation. The mirrors in the locker room, there's a lot of crowding, and if you're a girl, all of the girls tend to swarm towards the mirrors. And with only having two mirrors, there tends to be a lot of pushing and shoving and fighting and that kind of stuff, <laughs> fighting over it. So it gets crowded, and people could get ready faster so they don't get tardies. And another problem would be a clean pool, or even a, their own pool for the high school, because the problem would be it's dirty. They share it with stinky little middle schoolers. <laughs> it makes you feel unsafe and there's no pride in swim. And more people would want to swim and you would feel safer if we could get that changed. And in the kitchen area, the equipment and floor, the problems are that they're outdated, unsanitary, unorganized, and it makes you not want to eat. And if we got that fixed, they would be clean. More students would feel like eating and we could have better food. And now on to Sydney, another junior with the D wing. All right, my name's Sydney. I'm doing the D wing, which is mainly the science part of the school, and it's also the new part. Um, our first problem that we had was outdated lab equipment. Um, our goggles, aprons, and computers are just way, way old. Um, probably older than half of us in here, maybe. Um, the goggles are like dirty, they've got like the yellow tint on them, and you can't really see what you're doing when you're doing a lab. Um, the aprons are ripped, one of them, they like, it comes right here, that's gonna stop everything that comes and slashes on you. The computers are slow, it's really hard to type our lab reports and everything that we have to do on them. Um, the dissection tools, um, they're insufficient, there aren't enough, um, they're gross, and they have like a little bit of rust on them. And um, overall, we just don't have really enough lab tools for everyone that takes science. Um, so this limits the students' learning, and it's also a safety hazard for everything that when you're doing labs, which is really important safety. Um, the second thing is bad smell. And <laughs> this is caused by we have poor drainage in the D-wing. The emergency showers, if you were to turn one on, there, it would just sit on the floor because we have no drains for it to drain out of the school. Um, and we also have maybe some old chemicals and the air filtration might be bad, so that also makes it smell. Um, this distracts the students and it's harmful to their health and it really basically floods the science department if we were to actually use the emergency showers. Um, the third one is the water quality and there are, it's sometimes yellow, and I know that's not the right color of water. Um, when we're doing our labs and stuff in the D-Wing, this just messes up our data and everything, and we're told if we use Norwell's water, let it run for two minutes, and then you can collect water for your lab. Um, so it deprives us from having good results, and it affects our grades once we per calculate the percent error for our labs. And then the fourth thing is the ceiling tiles. Like all the other wings, they are also pretty bad, and even though they're the newest, they should be the best, but they're not. 
Um, there's watermarks, as you can see, mold, and they're missing and broken. And this kind of causes a distraction because when you're sitting taking a test and you look up and you just kind of stare at the ceiling tiles for just the, like five minutes and you could have like three or four problems done by then. Um, the fifth thing are the blowers in the air system. They're really loud and distracting. And I know when I'm sitting in class and we go to take notes, Mr. Weiner runs to the back of the room, shuts them off so we can take notes and hear him while we are taking notes. Um, and if these weren't as loud, it would just be so much better and it would be easier to focus and you would have a lot more students get better grades. And it also sometimes blows the paper off the desk, which is kind of funny, really. But So maybe they wouldn't blow the papers off and we'd be more organized, who knows. But we're going back to Rowan so she can wrap everything up. In conclusion, you can clearly see what needs to be done. All we need from you now is your support. Here at Student Council, we coined a phrase, when you don't care, we don't care. In order for us to hear about our community and education, we need support from our community. So, please vote for us.